Hi everyone, I'm Rhett Smith for ProtonGuru.com. I'm going to talk to you today about the MCAT letter study plan and how you can set up your own personalized schedule. Once you register for the MCAT letter program, there are several study plans on the site and you'll want to evaluate those based on the descriptions to see which one you think will match your personal situation and the amount of time you have left before test day. Once you've picked a study plan, and this happens to be for plan B, you will have an Excel spreadsheet. Now, all the different study plans have a sheet just like this. And all you need to do is enter these three pieces of information. Everything else I'm going to show you in this whole spreadsheet will auto-populate with the right dates and things for you. So you just need to say when you're going to start studying. So maybe I'll start studying in April. How many days per week I'll study. Maybe I will study five days a week. Maybe I'll study two hours each of those days. And it will tell me when I will complete the program based on what I've put in this box. Right now, maybe I need to finish before September. So, well, I've got a test date in August. Maybe I need to study a little longer each day. All right, so I want to finish at least two, three weeks before my test date so I have time just to do practice MCATs, in addition to all the practice I'll do throughout doing the studying for the course. All right, so let's say I'm happy with being done by uh, July 16th. What will also populate for you is this weekly checklist. This is one of our longer study plans, so you'll see it does take several months to complete. This plan also calls for us to do two of the CARS sections per week, even before starting to do practice MCAT exams, just to get used to doing the CARS passages. This also tells you how many of the topics that are listed below you'll be finishing each week. Now, there are 72 topics total, so it won't take you a full 16 weeks based on what we've entered up here to get through it. And you can check off whether you've accomplished that or not, and if you start falling behind, you might need to change this and say, well, I was a little too ambitious, All right, or ramp up how much you study to catch up. All right, so you've got this weekly checklist. We also have a topic completion schedule. So this particular study plan suggests you start with organic chemistry. It's a weakness for a lot of people. It's also not a huge percentage of the MCAT. So starting it and getting it out of the way at the beginning is kind of good to get used to your studying schedule. And you'll see that it populates what week you'll have to use to complete those topics. And then you have the next week and then just starting into the next week, you'll finish off organic chemistry. And you can tick these off as you complete them to make sure you're staying on track with your plan. And again, if you fall behind, just go up here and, and change this and adapt and make sure you're still going to be able to get done by your target test day. So we have all the topics listed for general chemistry. You see the topics are listed consecutively as they are scheduled to be done in this particular plan. Biochemistry biology, biology 2, psychology, and all the way down to the very last topic, social inequality happens to be at the very end, and hopefully you'll have ticked off all these things to complete them. So I hope this will be a pretty easy process for you to tune your study plan and schedule according to your needs as you get ready for your MCAT exam.